A few days ago, I visited Ngari, a small village in Maralal town, where I met Grace Seneya, the founder and director of Samburu Handicap Education and Rehabilitation Program, accompanied by a community health nurse who works at the Ministry of Health and dedicates her free time working with Grace Seneya as a volunteer at SHARP. They were visiting a young lady called Naitinga. Naidingai has been completely paralyzed and unable to walk or even get out of bed for about two years now. So my name is Grace Seneya. I'm the director of Samburu Handicap Education and Rehabilitation Program, SHARP. And uh, through the course of my work of supporting children with disability across Samburu County, a young man came to my office who happened to be the cousin of, the, of Naidingai, the sick girl and requested me to give her a wheel in my wheelchair. So I told him, we don't give wheelchairs unless we assess a patient. So I took upon myself to come all the way to the home with the help of the boy, and I did my assessment. I screened the child, I took the history of the child, the bad history, and even the medical history of the child, and I established that the child had a brain injury. Throughout her life, Naidingai has been spending most of her time either in hospital or in a bed at home because of an accident that happened to her when she was one week old. As her mother narrates, she gave birth to her child safely without any problem. One day, a friend visited her to help her with house chores and fetch water for her, as many Samburu women do, as a sign of welcoming the newborn to the society. My name is Repace Lenanguya, she says. <laughs> The friend wanted to hold the new baby and the mother gave her, but accidentally the baby slipped and fell down, hitting the ground with her head, causing what she would later discover as a severe traumatic head injury or TBI. <laughs> At the age of around one year as she started crawling, she suffered from a condition called infant acquired torticollis, where her head tilted to one direction and could not turn side to side or up and down. This is a problem involving the muscles of the neck that causes the head to tilt down to one direction. After a medical review, she was fitted with a cervical collar to support her neck for six months at the hospital, but developed a strange twitching behavior thereafter. <laughs> She was again taken to Marala Referral Hospital for checkup, but the doctors told her the baby is okay. Over the years, the paralysis has changed her muscular tissue, resulting in metabolic disturbances that interfered with the function of nerves. Now, she can't feel her hands and legs. She can't move. As Eh, 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 eh,
Alon ada orang yang kira ini anak yang boleh guna ini dia. Anak pada ya tadi yang kira ikut guru ni. Lola kan nak kira ikut guna ini dia ikut guru ni ikut guru ni. Anak dah kemudah ya. Esok ni nak kira ini sesuatu pagi. Kene. Kau nak punya bisha. Kau susu sesuatu pagi. Kau tu dua dia. Nah kini dapat eh saki. Kau nak kau bolos sesuatu pagi pada pada nado tu najis cells. Ini kerana nama ralih jangan tujuh pilihan kerana ini nama medis dah. Kira semua orang kat sini kata apa kan? Tapi naik ni baru mula usia kan? Tapi, dulu pun dah kerja jen jen orang dosen jadi mehat. Ya, dah naik kerja kita cukup ni, kita juga nak naik. Kita juga nak kerja naik kerja kita jadi mehat. Kau dah naik naik jual nungkong kerja. Ya, dah naik kerja pernah kan? Naik kerja amal hari misi mata uno sudah kan? Lalu itu, marah pun nasi dah kerja ni. Ia pernah kan? Naik berotu. Anak dah kumpul dua kali naik ni dah takkan kaya ya? Jangan dengan kaya itu mana nak dua tahun? Jangan lupa kan? Lalu tu dah kerja angkir es ni jangan dah kerja panai ngangan ni. Nak dua ke? Aja aku mak ni kan aduan dua kali aku ni abah kata anak metar abah nak raya, anak nak dua kali tak mahu terlalu banyak sih dana tumbuh kena. After a long struggle with her condition, her brother George decided to visit the Samburu Handicap Education and Rehabilitation Program shop to borrow a wheelchair, so her now disabled sister can at least go out after about a year and a half sleep at home. But the director insisted to do a checkup on the lady before giving the wheelchair. The, the wheelchair could not assist her, though I brought the wheelchair home because the child was already paralyzed. And I suspected maybe she has paraplegia, but I did not confirm that. And I supported the child through physiotherapy, just some small support. I also encountered that she had some very bad wounds because of, because of lying on her on a skin, cow skin. Our organization supported the child with a mattress, a good environment to sleep in. The child developed the bed sores and uh, they didn't, couldn't afford to buy a mattress. So our organization offered to buy a mattress for her and a blanket. And we also supported the child with the foodstuffs as we were trying to look for another solution. As a coincidence, the Samburu West member of the National Assembly, Honorable Naisula Lesuda, had called a team from Bethany Kids, a non-profit organization, to deliver wheelchairs she had borrowed from them to Samburu. Grace took advantage of their presence and asked them to accompany her to go assess the kid again. The doctors at Kijabe Hospital discovered a brain injury that has left something like a tumor which has to be removed immediately for the lady to survive. I asked the team if they could come and do another assessment for the child to confirm what I had already done before. And the team assessor came with me. So the bed and the kids came with me to this home again and we did another assessment and for sure we all confirmed that the child had a, a, a brain injury but we couldn't establish the real problem of and uh, they offered to, 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 to ask me if I can, I, can, I can facilitate the child to reach Kijabe, then they can do further investigation at Bethany Kids Hospital in Kijabe. So after the child stayed in Kijabe Hospital, they were managing the, the bed sores and they were also doing the diet because she was already down on, on diet. They did a lot of nutrition on her and she became stronger. And uh, even after that, they organized and they took her for MRI screening in Nairobi. And uh, these are the results. And I think I can be assisted medically to come back into a normal life. The child requires an urgent neurosurgical review. And we were advised to take her to Tenwek Hospital for neurosurgery. And they need it very urgently so that the, the child can be able to be supported. The mother has five kids and is unmarried. She doesn't have a job, whether does any of her kids. She sells firewood for a living. Kata nanti cara ini limit. Kata nanti Yuni ulah jokari. Nama talbayan. Nana siapa yang wardak? Naga nangai nagi. 
Kora kaba kada kona kara ini nsa naka isu ime namga isoma. Kora kana kara ye ke isu ane nya naka suku ndagi. Ke de basi ke te kwa le nya naka ye alma le muni kulo le naka kwa kwa na kulo le ana sari. Ke de ba kada ini. Mimi na itua jo jela nangu ya. Na idenga le nangu ya ni sista wangu. Sasa ke tambo uyu msichana wetu aze mkugua au kuwa mgonjwa. Tuliteseka kama familia. Hatuna kitu ya kupeleka ye hospitalini. Sisi hata hii familia ni mama yetu juu ndiyo anafanya mambo mawili ama matatu kutosaidia. Nimesumechwa from primary kwa umasikini tu. Nikamalisa high school. Saisi mwaka huu memalisa college. Mefanya certificate in ECD. Ambaye bado saisi hata sina kazi. Kwa sababu hata ni, kama ningekuwa na kazi ningemsaidia huyu sister yangu amke. Yeye yeye jina sasa ide milioni yuni. Ajinor armuni na selimi. Her sister Nengerwa who takes care of her says she wants the sister to get well soon so they can go to school together. Kaja nenge sala nangisha na shawani nya papa na ibinga ifo suku. Kana shenyara nano. Through her organization, Grace has helped the family where she can and is now calling upon well wishes to join her in raising the money for the much needed neurosurgery. Yeah, we are calling upon well wishes, the community members, the neighbors, the organizations in Samburu, the county government, all our leaders and friends of SHARP to work together with SHARP and the community members and the family here so that this child can get her life back. Sasa tumefika maale anaitaji msaada kidogo ya relatives, ya neighbors, na anybody with good heart. Munaesa kusaidia imtoto ili arudi shule. Kaji na hindi ngele nangaya. Na kaji na hindi ngele. Angalu miyari msini. Na akalu sparo sko. Kaunti watusaidie ili tuweze ili maisha ya huyu sister yangu iweze kuokolewa